officer. The crash happened back in October, but it was just announced the officer involved has been charged with vehicular manslaughter. ABC 10's Alicia Machado is live in the studio tonight after speaking to the victim's family attorney. Alicia, what did he say? Yeah, well, Chris, Laura, the attorney tells me the family is pleased to see some measure of justice in this case, but still they are heartbroken at the loss of their loved one. Today, the Sacramento Police Department also released a video showing the collision, and we do want to warn you at home, the video you are about to see is graphic, and some may find it disturbing. I'm going to need fire, code three, to Bell and May. New video shows the moments a police car crashes into a motorcyclist in North Sacramento. That motorcyclist, 61-year-old Denzel Broadhurst, later died at the hospital. Sacramento police releasing body camera video from the officer Sir, involved and video from a nearby privately owned camera. The camera shows the moments before the collision on the night of October 31st last year. The motorcyclist is captured riding down Bell Avenue near May Street. Looking at the left side of the screen, video then shows the police officer make a U-turn where the patrol car and motorcyclist collide. What appears to be pieces of the motorcycle are sent flying. Police say the officer was responding to a call of a reported kidnapping and did not have his siren or emergency lights on at the time of the collision. According to police, the in-car camera did not capture the accident, but he turns on his body-worn camera after the crash. The officer calls for emergency medical response and provides Broadhurst with assistance. Can you tell me your name, sir? Okay. Can you, can you squeeze my hand? Shortly after, a witness comes by the scene. I guess you might have been in the process of making a U-turn, and I saw the motorcycle coming, so I don't know if you saw him or not. Okay, hey, sir, stay with me. Our editorial team has chosen to pause the video here to not show Broadhurst, who can be seen lying on the ground without movement after the collision. We will continue playing portions of the audio. You got a pulse. Just try not to move him. Then emergency responders arrive. As far as I can tell, there's no major bleeding. He's coming from his mouth. I haven't taken off his helmet. I didn't want to move okay. him too much because yeah. he's been thrown. Body camera video shows a large dent where the two collided. Mr. Broadhurst needlessly and tragically lost his life. Police departments and cities need to be sure that officers know how to drive their vehicle safely. Robert Glassman is an attorney representing Broadhurst family. He tells us a civil lawsuit is pending against the city of Sacramento and police department. The officer involved, Benjamin Jilson, has been charged with vehicular manslaughter. Police say a misdemeanor warrant was issued for Jilson Wednesday after the conclusion of the police investigation. The family is very pleased to see that the officer is being brought to justice by the Sacramento District Attorney's Office. That is important for them. Sacramento PD says Jilson turned himself into the sheriff's office where he was processed and released. The Sacramento Police Department says in December 2022, the department launched a traffic safety initiative to review data and training about driving in their department. We have a link to the full video on our website, abc10.com. And Alicia, we do have questions from viewers tonight about why this was issued as a misdemeanor warrant. Well, Chris, we reached out to the DA's office to ask them about the misdemeanor warrant, and they told us they could not comment on a pending case. So we spoke with our legal expert, Mark Reichel, who says that most are actually filed as misdemeanors because they are accidents. It would have to be proved that the crash was gross negligence or extremely reckless to be considered a felony.